great, there, I don't know, in 2022, there's so many great things now that, that we talk about. We talk about medicinal mushrooms, by the way, as a way of um, helping with obesity, you know, because some of these dogs are living in an inflamed state because the adipocytes can also cause in, pro-inflammatory mediators. So what do we do? Well, we look at some uh, different types of medical mushrooms that can be helpful. We look about the CBD and the CBG is another big one that I like as well. And the terpenes. So there's like a lot of great things in the endocannabinoid system that we can use as a great arsenal for the treatment of obesity. I know. I love that you mentioned that. Um, as you know, I'm a cannabis expert, so I love the endocannabinoid yes. system and how, um, you know, vets aren't taught about the endocannabinoid system. So anytime I get one that can spit it out and knows how it helps in the situation, why not? That's how I feel too. And then remember that mushrooms along with cannabis and some of these herbs are all belong to a group of plants and mushrooms called adaptogens. So when you do add more than one together, they become even more powerful and synergistic, which is literally my three things to keeping my Doberman alive was diet, mushrooms, and cannabis. So it's very um, important to take an integrative approach anytime because, you right. know, if you're going to a conventional um, veterinarian that hasn't and hasn't continued their education and they're just operating off of what they learned at school, they're operating with a very small, um, yes. small platform to, to treat your pet, your pet. So even which we love to do this. And I love that you do telehealth because even if you live somewhere where you can't get to a integrative vet that you can still go get your blood work, your x-rays, everything, and then get on with someone like you who will yes. be able to to do everything. And thank you for doing that because oh, you're us welcome. Pet parents, we are not settling for less. I will go. I mm -hmm. used to, I mean, I've been to so many vets before I could find one that I could talk to. And my vet is not in, is in Pennsylvania <laughs> and I'm in Florida. Yeah. So <laughs> that yes. is very common. And I'm, and I'm so grateful for all of you that do this for us. Right. We, t we talk a lot about food energy. We know the importance of what food is. Like you were just saying, it's, it's just the foundation of everything. So, and we don't get a lot of it in veterinary school because we have so much to go through and jam through on large and small animals. So we talk about food energy. We talk about the integrative approach. Now I'm learning more because I'm always sitting in continuing education and learning more. I'm learning about the entourage effect that the one plus one model really does work. Like you're talking about with the endo endocannabinoid system and throwing other things in play. Um, and just going there because listen, I, and I wish, uh, you know, I, if I could shout this from the rooftop too, we know that there's more great effects than side effects. Exactly. So, right. So why not try it? Well, why the not side effects it? are all good. Yes, they are the good things too. And so, and again, you know, we were, I know we're talking about the obese um, dog and cat here because think about all those things, like they're just living in that inflamed state. So if we can do these other modalities while we're getting the weight off of them, and then they can, we can take them off of certain, um, you know, herbs and remedies, of course, um, but it's going to help in the long run. So that way, obviously at the end of the day, we want our animals to live longer. And that's what 